Drowning thoughts, muffled talk, feeling nothing, so I cry, I try, and I try. Are you sick? Do you want me to pull over? Kelly. Mark and I have set the date. We're going to get married in June. It's going to be a beautiful summer wedding. He's such a doll, Kelly. You're going to love him. Susie said that she would do the cake. And I'm waiting to hear back from Leslie about her being on board. David, I'm an addict. If you want what we have to offer and are willing to make the effort to get it, then you are ready to take certain steps. These are the principles that made our recovery possible. One, we admitted that we were powerless over our addiction. We believe that the sooner we face our problems within our society and everyday living, much faster do we become acceptable, responsible, and productive members of that society. The only way to keep from returning to active addiction is not to take the first drug. If you are like us, you know that one is too many and a thousand is never enough. We put great emphasis on this, for we know that when we use drugs in any form or substitute one for another, we release our addiction all over again. We are people with the disease of addiction who must abstain from all drugs in order to recover. Three down, nine to go, huh? I'm James. Kelly. <clears throat> Another cancer stick for the lady. No, I just quit. You know, I've seen you around a few times now. When did you start coming? A few weeks ago. Doing anything for you? No, not really. Yeah, me too. Ella says yellow is appropriate, but I'm worried that it'll make people look sick. What do you think of yellow, red, and blue? Or yellow, red, pink, and blue? Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Got caught with five kilos of cocaine. And uh, judge required me to be here. Really don't want to be here. I don't think I need to be here. Lost my job. 
judge required me to be here, so just trying to fulfill my judicial requirement. And uh, hope I can get this shit over soon. I brought food from Alan and Julie. It's a new recipe they got from Phil, who has just gotten into Harvard Medical. I spoke with Graham today. She sends her love. And where, might I ask, is Bradley? Left. What do you mean he left? It's just something I have to think about. Nothing's changed. Just hang in there, you know, I was, uh, <sighs> my life was hell when I got here. I was sucked up and tore up from the floor up. I had a nudge from the judge. But I'll tell you, if you just hang in there one day at a time, you're gonna make it. And uh, my life's incredible. And yours can be too. So, thanks. I wish I would have shoved it down my own throat now, but I didn't. I, uh, I killed the only person that I ever loved, and the only person that ever loved me. Callie! You shouldn't be standing out here in the cold in your condition. David, and I'm an alcoholic and an addict. Hi, David. Hey, David. And I relapsed again. You know, you guys, I've been around the program for 12 years, and 
I just can't fucking get it. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Found a winner, huh? I guess. Yeah. You really gotta get it on vinyl, though. Really soak it in. Doesn't matter, I... I don't have a player. I got one. I'll loan it to you, really. Vinyl makes all the difference in the world, believe me. Is this when you buy me a copy and you write your number on the back? <sighs> the fuck do I need to do that for? I see you five times a week, four weeks a month. If I want your number, I'll ask for it. So what are you in for? What? The meetings, what are you in for? Oh, <laughs> um, I was uh, interning at a law office for like three years, and you figure out pretty quick that the best way to get ahead is not a cup of coffee and a good night's sleep. So, speed and whittling? It's a nifty little cocktail a friend of mine cooked up. He rests in peace. But yeah, it turned me into somewhat of a shut-in once I got hooked on it. So I started doing Percocet and Valium, balance it all out. Jesus. Yeah. Hell of a ride, though. Mm. While well, it lasted, anyway. What about you? Oxycotton. Oxycotton. Oxy cotton. Mm -hmm. It's a good one. While it lasted. So what's your story now? Are you clean? Four years. This January. You? Three. See, it's not that hard, you know? Most people quit after the first two years. The pressure just builds and builds and eventually crack. So if you put your heart into it. You can shake it, you can shake just about anything. It just takes a little honesty, a little fucking commitment. Or a new drug. Or a new drug. You ever think you might fall back into it? No. I'd say that part of my life's behind me now. And now? Now I help other people put that part of their life behind them. Is that what this is? I don't know.
tolerance or intolerance toward spiritual principles. Three of these that are indispensable are honesty, open-mindedness, and willingness. We feel that our approach to the disease of addiction is completely realistic. What can be done that is in something to be undone? Thinking it would someday end. Take me Take me away. Hi, my name is Kelly, and I'm an addict. I used to think that, um, I used to think that when all the worst of it was over, that I'd have more good days to look forward to than bad ones. I felt um, the only thing you could be really sure of is that you'd be dealt the same no matter who you were or what you did. On my bad days, my, my reality was the inside of a bucket. And then on my good ones, I was just grateful to be breathing. And the thing that scares me the most is that I don't think I can tell the difference between the two anymore. The truth is on my good days. I wonder why I'm still here. Take me Hello, it's good to be here. How are you today? I'm fine, 